Yeah, yeah. Man, you up in that shit. <laughs> already know what you really you about. The, the picture, he, the excuse he said, he's like, yo, I was 15. I said, yeah, man, I'm listen, like, I was 15 too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't they, never did no fucking he's, he's hardcore racist shit You already know, shit you already like know what you're doing at that yeah, point. Yeah, you ain't gonna sit there and be, I was 15. I, I was ignorant. Better. Yeah, yeah, no. Right, he man. beat, he was one of the, be he was one of the murderers of Emmett Till. Mm. I didn't even know that. Nah, it's a lie. I'm fucking around. <laughs> Believe it, though. It's believable, though. I was just like, I was like, I was like, yo, see, yo, I didn't even know that. Like, we got a conspiracy we hear about me. My man, my man took it like, he's like, yeah, I, I believe you, I'm nigga. Like, like, it's, it's unbelievable as fuck. I'm like, that ain't right. That I'm ain't like, right. Yeah. <laughs>to another episode of the EOV project. Yes, sir. We got another spotlight episode. Oh yeah. It's your boy Robert here. Co-host Eric. Got his Uber on the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thought, she just wanted to be in the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a good guest today. Great guest. Coming here with Jerry Jones so conspiracy <laughs> theories and all that shit. Off rip. Off rip, man. <laughs> My son Pedro, aka PJ Brown. Yes, yes. What's going Welcome on, man? This show, bro. Yo, first of all, thank you for having me. Nah, thank you for coming. I've been watching y'all for, for 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 a while now. I'm yes, like, sir, I gotta sir. get on that shit. Yes, There's yes, no sir. way this is gonna continue it can. without an invite. It don't make sense. <laughs> yeah, you, bro. Just I cannot sense. have this. Well, come on, man. Well, thank you, man. On. Appreciate y'all, man. But so, uh, for everybody wondering, who's this man on the couch? Let people know, like, what are you? Uh, what's your? What's your? Uh, I got many hats, man. I'm a yeah. producer of comedy shows. I'm a comedian myself. Uh... I'm just I'm just out here. I'm grinding. I'm getting a little buzz now. And, and thank you for supporting the, the shows, man. Of course. Of My course. man be coming out religiously. This, this nigga think it's a sermon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he be in the front row like He be in the it. front row like, yeah, hey, man. <laughs> No, 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 my, yeah, my Jerry yeah. Jones jokes, and he's like, "Yeah, I feel that." Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, I told him, like, I'm <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you said you're comedian producing. So I guess give a brief intro on like how you got into everything. Um, I feel like uh, to be honest with you, I, I feel like I've been a, a comic my whole life. It's that. just like most recently I started performing in, from, in front of an audience and then took it away from like, you know, we all perform in front of the living room with our families yeah. and motherfuckers will be like, oh, you funny. And then they go on stage and they bomb. When, when I went on stage, it didn't, that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It actually was a, it was actually good. From so I kept start. it, yeah, from the start, it was good. Mm -hmm. And um, I just I just got back from Hollywood not too long ago. Okay. Shout out to my man Fen with Spin the Block and all that and all those projects that we've been doing lately. Um, I started producing a, a show called uh, uh, Kings and Queens of Culture, and then we graduated to the Takeover, and we've been running, we've been running since, we've been running since. Like you know what I mean? It's well, just sir. it's been major moves since, and I'm I'm just blessed and fortunate enough to to be able to say that. It's been successful, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. So, man, as a comedian, uh, I know if you be, if you pay attention to all the media outlets and everything like that, how all these comedians are getting in trouble for their jokes, whether it's in the past, present. You know, Dave Chappelle is in a vengeful war against the LGBTQ. <laughs> right? Like, they gunning for homie. You've seen the whole Netflix Hard video. question <laughs> off the rip, you right? know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So Get me I, in trouble I, off yeah. the rip. That's why I went so that now, You know, so I got to ask you, you know, as a... A spectator, you know, what is off limits now in comedy, at least to you, if there, if there is anything off limits? I think, uh, damn, that's a good fucking question. Um, when it comes to, when it comes to the, to, to today's climate, I think it is a sensitive climate. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. It's a sensitive climate. But if you do your joke correctly, there mm -hmm. is nothing that you can't touch. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that you, if you do it in good taste, if you craft it well, there's nothing that you cannot talk about if you do it in the right way. Now, there's things, of course, if if you do it and in, 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 if you're tacky with it, right. then the crowd is going to turn against you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And you're going to get not just booed off the stage. You might get a white Karen get up on stage <laughs> and Will Smith you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it make, it could occur. But I think I think people, people don't understand what we do. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like, we... What we doing is we translating the human experience into into humor. That's dope. And I think mm -hmm. people don't understand that people are so into their bag and their own personal trauma that they see you do a joke right. and all of all of a sudden it triggers it triggers something and they feel like they become they want to be part of the show. Mm -hmm. And if you're a good comic, you could handle the heckler or the heckler's going to handle you. Right. And that's all on you as a performer. If you allow it. Right. Me personally, I'm not gonna allow no camera to take 
Now, yeah, let me not say Karen because I'm I'm, I'm wild in there, right? She's listening. Wild... Nah, nah, you're not she wild listening wild, though. She... We love you, Karen. Someone. All the million Karens out there, don't ever jump on stage while I'm on stage because it's not gonna go well. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I guarantee six Karens are gonna be like, well, we heard what you said, nigga. <laughs> don't dare me. <laughs> Bet money, bitch. <laughs> Fucking Amy Butterfuco. Yo, <laughs> fucking, she's like, I'm coming on stage. Yeah, I'm like, all right, it's scary. <laughs> so in relation to the, what you just said about Karen's, uh, and you mentioned Will Smith, would you say Chris Rock was in the wrong for that joke? Because there's a whole bunch of mixed feelings with that. As a comedian, I got to say that Chris Rock was not in the wrong. Yeah, Chris, like... Chris Rock. I, I, as a comedian, I could, I gotta take the side of the comedian. He, right. he did a like, it was light. It wasn't a, it wasn't a joke. It could have been so much worse. Yeah, I feel he like he could have really like he, he was. Could've... It was light. It was light, and then like. I feel like half the people don't really get the joke at first. It was just like nah. there was that. a delay, right? Yeah, there was a it, took, delay. it took a little minute. I mean, Will was laughing at first too, and then he looked. Le- at yeah, Will looked all funny like, as shit. Then she yeah. he turned around. She's like. He's like, fuck. Pac would it. Pac would have slapped that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much. Pac would have slapped that nigga. And that's when like, his face yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah. Face he said, Pac. Yeah, yeah. He that got point, up. This dead point, nigga. At that point, he put his Tim's on. He's like, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got to handle this. Yeah, bro. I, honestly, I don't know. I think, I think Will was dealing with a lot of personal turmoil. And the you internet know, coming at him. Yeah, it was, it, was like, it was like a year yeah. or two of that, right? Yeah, like, bro. it was a year or two of that. And then all of a sudden, that joke. Rips right, and it's not that it was a funny joke. It's just that, like you said, he looked at her, and I think it, I think it, it tested his manhood. It oh, did. for sure. He looked at her. I don't know if she looked at him, but no, she was that, looking. But that reaction, right? Yeah. It, it, everything started going through his head. Exactly. All these thoughts, the internet, people with there telling him he was yeah. like, if they was at the pinnacle of like celebrity black couples years ago, and then when that mm-hmm. whole table talk came out. Yeah. It was cutting his ass. You I mean you saw the fucking memes, bro? Yeah, like yeah. he's spilling, he's spilling his heart out to Shorty, and she was nah, like, yeah. "Yeah, but I don't feel the same." <laughs> nah, it's nah, like, yeah. bro, yeah. Our whole internet was laughing at homie's pain. I was dis- I was disappointed in his reaction because yeah. it was his moment. That night was his. That right. was, it yeah. literally was yeah. his moment, and he allowed his ego. It's bruised ego from the internet. Oh, yeah, for sure. He allowed his ego to take over, and I was really disappointed on his reaction. First of all, if I was Chris Rock, Chris Rock, and I know, and I know uh Will Smith is a big nigga, but my nigga, you ain't slapping me and, and walking <laughs> off. I'm biting you, nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, uh, like, yeah, like enough, sun's happening. He had, it's enough time, he had enough time to do something. Yeah, you see him like, walking up, I'm like, Oh, but nigga come up to you is that's what I'm saying. Cause Chris, according to him, like they thought they was friends, right? So yeah, you imagine your nothing. man's coming up to you and like, yeah, you, you hear him, he's like, oh, oh, he coming and he smacks the dog shit out of you. We on f- live television. We bro. fighting on stage. I you see, that's what I think. You're not walking off, and I'm just gonna be standing there bro. like. Like, no, I'm, I'm kicking in your balls. I'm, getting, like, I'm, I'm, getting, kick, listen, I'm, I'm leaving with something. I'm not I'm acting like Denzel. I'm, I'm leaving with something. I'm, 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 leaving, with I'm leaving with something. Shirt, I gotta get something off. You're yeah, not just walking nigga, off no. and I gotta sit yeah, there like. Man. No, it was dead wrong. That shit was yeah. dead wrong. I, honestly, I felt like it was a bully. It was a bully move. It was. But then again, they had history too. So I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know their history. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Chris Rock had some type of like uh, underlying issue with that family. Don't know. But to me, from from the outside looking in, yeah. it looked like a bit much. Yeah, yeah, it looked like a bit much. It's definitely yeah. something deep rooted in that. There's whole, something deep rooted yeah. that we'll never know. Maybe like maybe fifty years from now, they'll let us know. Yeah, when they do a fifty for fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. A thirty for thirty. Thirty for thirty. He said fifty fifty. That's that fucking rum kicking. That rum kicking. That fucking that rum. That, 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 that dirty, dirty <laughs> sports <laughs> documentary. Oh, Will Smith. Yo, Will Smith. <laughs> like what? Slapping Chris Rock. How is that a sport? <laughs> going over borders now. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Transcending. All right. So just to bring it back. Yeah, my bad. Now you good, you good, you good, bro. Having a good time. Is there now you good? It's just fine, bro. Is there any comics that you look up to? Anybody that you know, inspiration? You want to like. Imitate that craft a bit, but you know, twist it in your own way. First of all, Chappelle's the goat, right? Right, Chappelle's one of the goats for sure. But I'm not even gonna let's not. Like, I'm not even gonna do that. I wanna, I wanna shout out the people that gave me an opportunity mm-hmm. when I first started. That they didn't even have to give me an opportunity, right. and they saw raw talent from the start. So I wanna shout out the current comics that are doing their thing, and I'm gonna do that. You know what right. I mean? I wanna I wanna give a shout out to Fun Size Fan. I wanna give a shout out to Miss Lissa, which is my sister. I wanna give a shout out to my man D Money. Of course, one of my mentors, Rashad Bashir, who holds Harlem Nights down in Harlem, and he always gives me the opportunity to headline there. Um, Desi, who rocks out in the Bronx, and I'm I'm a Bronx nigga. Um, mm-hmm. so 
I gotta give I gotta give them their flowers because they go unacknowledged and they go unnoticed and there's so many new comics that are yeah. doing their thing right now them, yeah. and these old niggas don't want to let us in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think that's a part of the game that nobody knows about where where the old guys uh they've been holding it down and and shout out to them because we gotta respect the the, the path that they paved for us. But now that that we're trying to get in, they they're not so welcoming. Shout out to one of the old school comics that have shown me uh, much love, um, Kenny Williams, who's who's been on BT, who's been on on Def Jam and all that. Like, th th it's not a lot of them, man. It's, it's a scarcity when it comes to sure. to to the, to the vets showing us showing us love. So I, I gotta give him a shout out. What do you think is the what do you what do you think is the issue behind that? Do you feel like they don't want to like kind of get their spots taken, or is it more? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, you hit it right on the money. I feel like it, it's so competitive that nobody mm. wants to lose their spot to eat. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's, it's only what they feel because mm. I, I feel like everybody got a lane. Right. When I speak about, there's only one PJ. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's only one E. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like everybody got their own lane. Right. Um, but unfortunately, in the in the comedy world, I, I feel like they feel like if I let this little nigga in, I might lose my spot. Yeah, and I can't thing. blame them. It's a livelihood. Yeah. I can't blame them yeah. for that. But like you said, it's just it's like a, it's just so many high, like so many lanes. It's not like all right. So like, let's say you tell jokes about mothers, right, or whatever, and then you got another. But comment. you know, I got room. Um, you got a few. <laughs> you got a few of them. Listen, man, we'll talk about Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes moms. But, <laughs> but, let's say you got a comic that talks about moms, right, and he's in the hood or whatever he's doing, like you know whatever. Here's this little nigga talking about moms. And he's like, oh, this, this little nigga kind of funny, but I ain't going to put him on. Because that's me. I, you're not about to come up and talk about mothers. That's my shit. You talk about something else, maybe we can figure that out. But, oh, shit. Never mind. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I guess it could be a little bit of that. It's just like, I want to protect my crib, my lane, my type of, like, whatever. And I feel like that's unfortunate. It's just, it's just so much room for growth. I feel like, why not? Water more plants. Let more kids come in. Let more people come in. It can always be better for you at the end of the day. I think e is, is I think e, you speaking and you speaking um you speaking facts and you speaking you accurate and it's because you've seen the young comics. You come to the shows that mm -hmm. that I produce and you're like, oh shit, mm -hmm. this raw talent that that we we haven't seen that they don't they don't have a platform yet. Exactly. You know what I mean? And this is crazy because we're so used to seeing the old footage of Kings of Comedy and that's all we know. Right? right? We might see Def Jam, that's all we know. We might see Bad Boys of Comedy mm -hmm. and that's all we know. But unfortunately, um and no disrespect and I mean this respectfully. These niggas is dinosaurs now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's a fact. Yeah, yeah. They, ask, go ask a, um, like a 15 year old. They might not know who the fuck any of these dudes are. Respectfully. Respectfully. It's, yeah. it's just that's what it nothing is. Against them. The same it's thing just, with like music, genre. video. Yeah. It's it's the same with any any um source of whatever you want to talk about. Like things just change over time. Like is imagine it, imagine it telling a teenager now like, yo, Illmatic. He's like, nigga, fuck Illmatic. You know what I'm saying? He's exactly. he, and there's no is oh, it's listen, no, no disrespect it's to just, Nas, respect yeah. to Nas. Yeah. But that's how they feel about it because they don't, they not, they not in tune uh, so with that. Is. Like I had a like completely off topic. Go ahead, got shoot. I fucking was talking to my niece once, right? And mm -hmm. she's watching these new cartoons they got out now, right? Which one? Fucking Teen Titans Go is what she was watching. It's, it's completely different from I'm, Teen I'm Titans. A, I'm I'm used to the, the original Teen Titans, yeah. right? I'm like, have you ever, boxing in that bitch. Yeah, I'm like, have you ever seen her? She's like, no. So I showed her an episode and she's like, oh, this is kind of whack. I was like, I felt so disrespectful. Yeah. This man threw his, yeah. his niece out like, I was like, like you, might, you might need to go home. And then I watched Teen Titans Go and I'm just like... It's just not. It's not for me. So I get it. Like it, it's just. It's with the times, I guess. But it's just like. If they only, grew up with if that, only you, know? you knew, though. Like, if only you knew. You, so it's like it's the same thing as when you were growing up mm -hmm. and you was watching. I don't know what. What's your what name? Name a cartoon you was fucking with. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. And yeah. a nigga tells you. He tells you Dragon Ball Z is whack. Transformers is the shit. And he shows you Transformers. The and new he, shit. Talking about the like old back shit. Then, like the old All right, you oh, were like the 80s. This nigga's a contrarian, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> this this, this, this nigga is it. The new shit is fire, though. <laughs> okay, so, what did you say? So, what's your point? <laughs> like, 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 nah, I'm not. Man, I'm not man, man, man. I haven't watched the new movie. <laughs> so, I'm thinking he compared Dragon Ball Z <laughs> to the new Transformer movie. Yeah. I'm like, yo, who, 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 this nigga's the bait for? Like, it's two different lanes. Two different lanes, bro. This nigga didn't even let me finish the point. The point is, the point is, 
Stop your fuck. That dude should fuck. No, no, no. Transformers fire. Fuck off. Different topic. Let's change topics. I'm just saying that if you would have showed her the old animation of the, the original Transformers, yeah, yeah. she probably would have been like, yo, that shit is trash. Of course. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and it's like, it's nothing against that because they innovated something and they're the, they're the yeah. they're, you know, they got their fingerprints on a new wave, obviously. Yeah. But end of the day, when you show somebody that's from the younger generation something old, yeah. they might not... They not might they might not subscribe to it yeah, the true. way we do. You know what I mean? Unless you run into an old soul that's like, ah, yeah, just, uh, yeah I facts. can fuck with it, and that's very rare. You very rare. It. You don't meet a lot of those. Yeah. But um, to get back on topic, we do this pretty often, <laughs> run off the rails and shit. <laughs> good time. Um, good time. Man, good <laughs> conversation. What are um what are some goals you have you have set for yourself or would like to set for yourself within your current space? Arenas, theaters. Ooh. I dream big, baby. I don't. If I'm not sure. gonna. If I'm not gonna dream big, I'm not dreaming at all. You gotta think big, sure. bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm thinking arenas. I'm thinking theaters. I'm thinking. I mean, we already, like, as you know, e, we already doing like about 140, 150 per room. Mm -hmm. So now the next move is how we can fill up five, and then after right. we do five, how we can fill up a thousand. How we like we? Yeah. We thinking big, baby. Uh, I'm sure. sorry. I'm smacked. When he said arenas. I thought he was saying arena, so that was the name of a like an arena, and I didn't know. And then I caught him. I'm like, oh, he means arenas as in plural. Yeah, that's like, just my dumb ass moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plural. Yeah. Oh no, I got you, bro. I'm just. Plural. So, I guess it's the rum. I guess it's, I'm telling you, that shit. <laughs> shit it's no, no. Got me, bro. According to your liquor store guy, it's, it's tequila. 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 Shout, Shout out to you. you. Shout yeah. out Pedro, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Pedro. Pedro, Pedro told me tequila, Pedro, tequila, tequila. Tequila. Him, man. That shit got me sweating and all that shit. So I guess a dream location for you would be. This is just me being a bronze head or whatever. Yeah, yeah. MSG. Mm. MSG, Radio City. Apollo. Apollo. Oh, My man's yeah. doing Apollo in November. Shout out to Rashad. Apollo in November. Nice. We already, we oh, we already, we already moving towards that, man. That's what's up. We already moving. Shout out to my man Rio Paris too. Cause because he 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 was uh he facilitated that move as well. So gotcha, gotcha. he's from Tampa, came to New York and he facilitated that move for many nice, Canadians. Nice. So that's fire. So let's let's round it back a little bit to something you said earlier about um comedians. You said a majority of them probably when they first start and they're not that great. They might bomb. It, uh, the bomb. They like Oppenheimer, nigga. Yeah. It's atomic when you first... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, I've seen some bad comments. Yeah. Huh? It's not done yet, nigga. Like, got, yeah. Yeah. How long he's giving yeah, these I'm niggas? Like, yeah, like, yeah, but then now, he'll pick it up towards the end. I'm yeah, like, All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, um, it takes about so what the what the standard is from what I'm hearing. The standard to be funny is about three years, three before you develop your first joke. Is that true, or are you just hearing that? I don't know. I would never know that. Mm. I wouldn't know yeah. that. Different I don't know. <laughs> I, if it yeah. took me three years to do something, I probably would stop doing it by the first year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? If I like, got to wait three years to be good at something? Yeah. Some uh, people have a different, you know. I, nah, some got, people are patient. Some are willing to wait. I'm patient, bro. Bless their heart. I'm got, listen, I'm <laughs> patient. Bless their heart, but not my heart, nigga. <laughs> it's it's not my heart. It's not my heart. different, nigga. I'm patient, but three years? Three years? That's like, 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 you in the NBA. Yeah, you don't get good until your third year. Like, I mean, that might happens, not be the league. Might even, yeah. After your first year, they might that's, be like, I don't know, nigga. That's fine in NBA terms, though. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's okay. Because you know, you, you, three sir. years max is like, if you really ask, then you probably so, out right, overseas. So I'll, give, I'll give an example. Who? Um, have you seen Wemby play? I seen him last night. He was ass, right? Nah. So here's the thing. Offensive wise, I think he needs improvement. He needs to work on his He's, footwork, yeah, and he need, and then he did look winded. I don't yeah. think he played prior to, but I think he was just somewhat. He didn't practice with he him. Practice, Obviously, yeah. first game. It's probably been a minute since he's right. played, and he's also right. like you know. He's been doing a whole bunch of shit since he got here. Yeah. So probably is, he had, yeah. probably hasn't played ball. Right, so. so I wouldn't compare comedy to NBA. Mm. Okay, I just, wouldn't do it. You know, if I would compare, so this is a this is all right. Let me let me let me speak. Cause I know I probably sound arrogant as fuck, and no, I don't want to go. Ahead, bro. I don't want to come off like that. You You're know what I mean? But the truth is that if I could compare this craft and this art craft mm -hmm. to any sport, it would be boxing. Mm. Okay, it would okay. be boxing. What would be the reason? The reason why is because people think because it's like it's this is the com the comedic space is a art craft but right. it is also a sport but instead of you competing with opponents you're competing with yourself right. that's what comedy is you're competing with you're not competing with nobody else you're competing on the sense of I'm on stage how vulnerable can I be mm. how comfortable can I be yeah. and how can I translate whatever it is that I I visualize or envision and the world as I see through my lens yeah. to make them 
so, so I could connect with them. How can I connect with these people? And that's a battle sometimes. Yeah. That's why and, the opening joke is kind of big, right? Just to get a sense of the yeah. feeling. The icebreaker right? joke yeah. is Yeah, just to everything. see what the type of yeah. crowd you're dealing with. You, if you pop your first yeah. joke and the shit don't land, you about to have a long set. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the that's chances of recovering from that? You could recover if you don't. You oh, could yeah. recover, but it depends on the patience of the crowd and what spot you win in the lineup. Have you yeah. ever had a set like that? Or matter of fact, do you recall your worst set? Like what exactly? Of course, happened? I think the walk us through it detail. The best, the the best sets I've had has been my worst sets mm, okay. because those are the ones I learned from. All right. The best sets are the ones that you feel like you bombed or you did. That's the ones you learn from the most. You get off, you get off stage and you're like, damn, I just ate a fucking dick. Pause. And <laughs> and yeah. you know what I mean? the car be like, I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> get him the fuck out of here. He's right about that yeah, dick right coming, right bro. Right. It's the same feel. Yeah, man. It's the same like, feel. Yeah, bro. Every comedian, every every good comic has to go through the worst nights in their life in order to become better mm -hmm. and in order to evolve. It's just like Dragon Ball Z, where it's like every opponent you face, mm -hmm. you're gonna get stronger, win or lose. Right. For win sure. or lose, you get better. Especially when you lose. You Especially when you lose. The sand shit when yeah. they close to death. We all saying at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> The Nigga, ain't nobody too. got their ass whooped more than Vegeta. Bro, know, some but ain't nobody got more respect than Vegeta True. in that DBZ That's universe. That arm ain't never been the same. Now. That arm, uh, he keep, ah! Yeah, yeah, every yeah, fucking, yeah. Every, 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 fucking, every, fight, every arc, just, bro. I'm like, yeah, yeah this nigga arm ain't this, never been, bro. It's not coming back. It's like, Vegeta, yeah, you might have to retire. You might have to, bro. Like, he in the corner like, fuck. He need every arm. Um, listen, that universe didn't have doctors. You know what I'm saying? There was no medical advancement. Mind you, his wife ran the whole fucking earth with the technology. See, you thought she would have had something for this nigga's arm, bro. Yeah, all right, nigga, you an alien. You know, bro. <laughs> bro, said, don't try to get stronger, close to yeah, death. <laughs> you almost there. Good, just, just, just walk it off, man. Fucking yeah. Vegeta. One bro. of my favorites, though. I ain't nah, gonna lie. Sure. Top two but, for but, sure. But to answer your question, mm -hmm. my, my worst set, I can't pinpoint one because I've had few and far between. Mm -hmm. But when I do have them, it's it's probably the best lesson I could get. Okay. And that's just that that's that just illustrates and illustrates that yo, whatever you doing in life. Failure is part of the process. Do not mm -hmm. do not think you're gonna be fucking undefeated and batting a thousand. You're not Floyd Mayweather in this mm -hmm. shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you gonna lose, For sure. but it's what you do after you lose that you that that builds your character. You know what I'm saying? Nah, right. Four dollars. How you, yeah, it's how you, you get to get up. You get nah, the yeah. fuck up. For sure. Where the Undertaker? He said, "Word the Undertaker." <laughs> I like that. I'm stealing that. Yeah, word the Undertaker. Word the Undertaker. Leave my credits, nigga. That's all. <laughs> I'm gonna say that in his next set, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be in the back. Yeah, I like, did that. Yeah, that was me. I'm a writer. Yeah, yeah. I gave him that one. Tell the Emmett Till joke. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even, did they hear that? They, yeah, probably, didn't even they hear probably heard they it, probably, man. They probably heard they it. They gonna yeah. hear it next. Yeah, anyway. yeah, I'm gonna leave it in the credits. Jerry yeah, Jones is a criminal. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I love you, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, what up, though, bro? Yeah, well, I need uh, some tickets, nigga. Let me get a 10 day, motherfucker. You know what I mean? 10 day trucks, really? <laughs> But uh, oh, let's man. let's let's end it on this note. So, yeah. uh, you've performed a lot, performed all over. Um, what would you say if you could choose any three people in your entire life? Who would you want to perform your best set in front of? Ooh, nigga, I ain't prepared for that question. Nah, I know you didn't, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it has to be a comic, or it has to be like anybody. Anybody you want, want, man? I'll give you five just to make it more fun. I want to. First of all. I want to perform my best sets in front of women. Mm. As you should. Anyone in particular? Uh, All of them. Facts. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Yo, listen. Kiki, <laughs> right, Kiki Palmer, Will. Kiki Palmer. Wear that well, dress new, that you wore well, last baby. Yo, you gonna be in the Tell DMs. your baby daddy you ain't coming home. Tell your baby daddy you ain't coming <laughs> home. Like, why are you going to comedy shows yeah. like that? I met a funny This nigga not even funny like that. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got herpes. <laughs> uh, I'm elevating a little bit. Like, I'm the postpartum. I'm making yeah. you laugh, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that PPD crazy. Yeah, that PPD got crazy. <laughs> that bitch jumped on stage like she forgot about children. She you know? like, fuck this. She said, oh shit, I am a mom. <laughs> I am a mom. It probably, oh, shit. Yeah, it probably cleared Mick Jump like, yeah. fuck. Uh, you could tell, yeah. tell those breasts that are leaking breast milk. Oh, oh, for sure. That was a lot. Nah. Nah. Nah, it's fa that's valid. It's, it's, yeah, it's on point. Valid. I bet. It's on point. Uh, 
You like there was some dairy in there. So no, yeah, I will, I will perform well in front of Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Honorable mention. <laughs> Honorable mention to her. You know what I mean? Shout out to Kiki. Shout out to Kiki. <laughs> Tequila. Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> um, oh, it would God. probably be Kiki. J-Lo with her fine old ass. Mm. J-Lo is, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Gotta give little J-Lo a little love. Yeah, yeah, all the love. Selma Hayek with her old ass. <laughs> I just seen a post of her the other day. You she can't like. I, 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 I might jump. I told you he likes mothers. Like, oh, yo, that's fun. You're bringing it back. That's <laughs> like, fun. Tell my Hayek. Tell my Hayek is still fifty. Fifty-two. Yeah, she's. You he said thousand. He said thousand. He said thousand. Some like fifty thousand. She a vampire. They called the Pharrell. This nigga said dust till dawn. It's over nine thousand. This shit. This bitch been living for years. Oh, really? She's fire as hell, though. Bitch, build the pyramids with the, the Aztecs. Come, come begin, oh. yeah. <laughs> Yo. She directed uh, the pyramid build. How so many I got left, though? Mm -hmm. What you got? J-Lo, Kiki, Salma. You got two left. Need a three, more, two more moms. Two yeah. more moms. Aye, aye, aye. Two more moms. Uh, Maya. Maya. You remember Maya? Maya, Maya? The R&B singer yeah, Maya. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. I've heard of her. Yeah, yeah. 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 I seen a picture of her the other day too. How's she looking? Good. I was like, okay. 52. 52, yeah. These old bitches. I said, <laughs> <laughs> These old bitches could get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, listen, Google Pussy, that shit valid, man. Listen. listen. And they tell you, they you, you don't have to worry about none of it. They already know what they want. They're going to direct you. Uh, you know, you just, would think Google like Pussy's dry. It's not. Nah, but man. it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's yeah. wetter than a Cokehead's. Runny nose. More than the cocaine in the White House? Well, Joe Biden. Hunter Biden, the son. They said the son. I thought the son was dead. Nah, he alive. Man, coke don't die. Coke don't who's die. The one, who's the one that died, though? Did he have a son that died? Somebody yeah, died. He, saw, he had one of his sons passed. Oh, so yeah, yeah, two. But the, the coke is still alive. Oh, uh, yeah, coke don't die. Yeah. Coke don't die. Yeah, coke don't die. Should be alive for another thousand years. I know crackheads in 84 that they're still alive and Super, kicking. Superhumans. Yeah. They're mutants now. Yeah. They ain't gonna tell you that, but you know, it's for another I feel episode. Like crackheads have the answer to like a whole bunch of cures and life in general. If you really sit but down they and... just crackheads, yeah, so we'll no, never get if, it out of them. If you really sit down and talk to a crackhead, you'd be like, yo, you really, you talking some shit right now. No, nah, they got wisdom. But nobody yeah. gonna listen to them because they're crackheads. Yeah. They're, I'll listen. That's what I'm saying. I'll listen too because it's just like. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've held court with I've, I've really, I didn't. <laughs> half of this shit, I'm just like, yo, I thought the same thing. <laughs> Guilty, I can't believe I said that shit. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna get fired from my full time job. This nigga say yo, like, corporate so, uh, crackhead. Yeah, what you said about uh... <laughs> uh, I'm like, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the. I'm gonna leave the last one. Uh, Wait, who's the fourth one? The fourth one was Maya. Yeah, oh Maya. yeah, Maya. Yeah, and her old sexy ass. Yeah, Kiki Palmer, J Lo, Maya. That's one hell of a crowd, though. That's one hell of a fucking crowd. I might as well come out in boxes at that point. It's yeah. underwear. You just perform. I'm just, just performing. You're not gonna perform. He's just gonna they be standing. Said, imagine there, like, a crowd in your underwear. He's like, Nah, nigga, imagine me in imagine underwear. Imagine me in my underwear. <laughs> he just gonna pick your poison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna pick a woman. I I really would like to. Uh, I would like to impress the likes of 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 Chappelle. Mm. That man's a genius at what he does. Sure. The man writes like no one else. His right. writing is 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 just spectacular and um. If I'm fortunate, uh, maybe one day I could meet him and, and, and pick his brain on what comedy is. So, like, yeah, Chappelle. Chappelle's my guy, man. Yeah, Chappelle's a legend, bro. Yeah, he's a legend. Oh, Uncancelable. No, yeah. Unca he yeah, he proved that. Oh, yeah. He did that for us. Because he, he speaks truth to what he says. Yeah, and man. And people understand it. You That's know? what I'm saying. They're trying to hold that back. But yeah. You can't hold the truth back. You can't hold the truth back. Yeah. And you can't. And if you make it funny, it's even oh, yeah, more. It's, sure. it's even that more more, more powerful. Yeah, because you know it go over a lot of heads. But the people that get it, they be like, all right. Yeah, adults. Yeah. If you sit down and actually listen to what he says, it's like, yo, it's yeah, facts. yeah. But uh, that's. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that crowd. That crowd is fire. You like that crowd? Yeah, right? I might. I might sit in for that one. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. Appreciate you for stopping by. Of it's course, another, man. Uh, Thank you for inviting me, course. man. This yeah. shit is fun. More to come. More to come. Uh, just the latest edition of the spotlight, like Rob said before. Uh, like, subscribe, watch the shit, laugh about the shit. Stop and, playing with us. We we doing it, you heard? come back. Oh, well, fuck you know, your we, bitch we, like we Usher. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. I can't do that. You said that. <laughs> you said you did that. Got you. All right, so.